I applied my heart to know wisdom and to know madness and folly. I perceived that this also was a chasing after wind, for in much wisdom is much grief. And he that increaseth knowledge, increaseth sorrow. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another video. I'm going to be doing a let's play of the first Assassin's Creed, which actually came, uh, was released in 2007, I believe. So, uh, quite a long time ago. Uh, about 14 years ago. Um, and I really like the old, the old Assassin's Creed games. So I'd like to revisit this again, and, uh... Yeah, see how it stands up to uh, 2021 standards anyways. Uh, so this is the tutorial here, and I'm going to kind of be skipping over a lot of the main tutorial part. But essentially, if you need a little bit of a recap of the story here, uh, basically this story has two protagonists. One in the past, Altier, who is an assassin uh, who fights for the Assassin's Guild, uh, which actually is based on a true Assassin's Guild that was run by a bunch of Iranians, I believe, back in the, uh, I believe the 11th century. Uh, but this is, be, being Assassin's Creed, this kind of, um, they kind of take a lot of liberties and, yeah, I wouldn't say it's completely historically accurate, but it is based on a, a, an actual Assassin's Guild. So anyways, and the second protagonist takes place in the future, and basically there's a, this big war between these two factions, the Assassins and the Templars, and uh, yeah, it continues to the present modern day, and basically uh, the protagonist in the modern day is stepping back in, t in his ancestors' memories to try to unlock a certain memory that the, uh, I believe the Templars want. I believe that's kind of the background, but let's stop rambling and let's just get into the gameplay, shall we? So we gotta use E, take a look around, see the people. And like I said, I think I'm gonna be skipping through Good. the tutorial because some of this is a bit boring. Use your empty hand to walk through these jar carriers without causing them to drop what they're holding. We've got a problem. I can't anchor him to the memory. Too much psychological trauma. He's rejecting the treatment. Retreating. Desmond, I need you to try and relax. Let me try and stabilize. Uh, focus. Listen to the sound of my voice. Recognize that what you're seeing isn't real. Uh, Just a picture of the past. It can't hurt you. Uh, Damn it. It's not working. Uh, 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 Give it a moment, mister. Uh, He'll adjust. The first time is never easy. Uh, 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 that's uh, enough, uh, mister. Uh, we need to pull him out. Now. Uh, All right. Uh, We're going to try and bring you out. I told you he'd be fine. Bastards! Now, now, I just saved your life. Saved my life? You kidnapped me. You strapped me into that thing. Animus. It's an animus. I don't even know you people. Why are you doing this to me? You have information we need, Mr. Miles. Information? I'm a bartender, for Christ's sakes. What do you want me to do? Teach you how to mix a martini? We know who you are. What you are. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't play coy with me. There isn't time. You're an assassin. And whether you realize it or not, you've got something that my employers want. Locked away in that head of yours. But I'm not an assassin. Not anymore. Yes, your file indicated as much. Something about an escape. Most fortunate for us. What do you want from me? For you to do as you're told. The Animus will allow us to locate what we need. Once we have it, you'll be free to go. I am not going back in there. Then we'll induce a coma and continue our work. When we're done, you'll be left to die. 
Truth be told, the only reason you're still conscious is because this approach saves us time. You're insane. So what is it, Mr. Miles? Live or die? Lie down. A wise decision. Whoa. Where am I? You're inside the Animus. Which is... It's a projector that renders genetic memories in three dimensions. Genetic memory? Seems you'll need a bit of a tutorial. <sighs> Very well. We'll start simple. What is a memory? Mr. Miles? It's the recollection of a past event. Specific to the individual remembering the event. Yeah, sure. <laughs> what if I told you that the human body not only housed an individual's memory, but the memories of his ancestors as well? Genetic memory, if you will. Migration, hibernation, reproduction. How do animals know when and where to go? What to do? That's just animal instinct. <laughs> Now you're arguing semantics, Mr. Miles. Whatever you call it, the fact remains. These creatures hold knowledge absent the requisite first-hand experience. I've spent the past 30 years trying to understand why. I discovered something most fascinating. Our DNA functions as an archive. It contains not only genetic instructions passed down from previous generations, but memories as well. The memories of our ancestors. And the Animus lets you decode and read these DNA files. Precisely. But there's a problem. This is the specific memory we're trying to access. Unfortunately, when we try and open the memory, your mind withdraws. You lack the confidence to step into your ancestor's body. That's what happened earlier. You got knocked out of the target memory and pushed back to a more stable state. Why? It's your subconscious. It's resisting. We found similar reactions among patients who undergo hypnosis to relive traumatic events. They can't jump directly into the specific memory. They need to be eased in. Even then, there can be problems. So how do we fix it? We find a memory you can synchronize with, and we move forward from there. You'll get used to it. Wait! There must be another way. This one need not die. An excellent kill. Fortune favors your blade. Not fortune, skill. Watch a while longer and you might learn something. Indeed. He'll teach you how to disregard everything the Masters taught us. And how would you have done it? I would not have drawn attention to us. I would not have taken the life of an innocent. What I would have done is follow the creed. Nothing is true. Everything is permitted. Understand these words. It matters not how we complete our task, only that it's done. But this is not the way of- My way is better. I will scout ahead. Try not to dishonor us further. What is our mission? My brother would say nothing to me, only that I should be honored to have been invited. The Master believes the Templars have found something beneath the Temple Mount. Treasure? I do not know. All that matters is the Master considers it important, else he would not have asked me to retrieve it. Here we are, our first gameplay scenario. And we are under the city of Jerusalem, headed toward the Dome of the Rock, where we believe that some artifact might be in danger of being stolen. Or so Altier tells us. What do we have here? All right, we've got our double blade, or sorry, our hidden blade equipped. So it's time to assassinate our first target here. There. That must be the Ark. The Ark of the Covenant? Don't be silly. There's no such thing. It's just a story. Then what is it? 
Quiet! Someone is coming! I want us through this gate before sunrise. The sooner we possess it, the sooner we can turn our attention to those jackals at Masiaf. Robert de Sable, his life is mine. No. We were asked to retrieve the treasure and deal with Robert only if necessary. He stands between us and it. I'd say it's necessary. Discretion, Altair! You mean cowardice. That man is our greatest enemy, and here we have a chance to be rid of him. You have already broken two tenets of our creed. Now you would break the third. Do not compromise the Brotherhood. I am your superior, in both title and ability. You should know better than to question me. There's a little bit of uh, awkward camera action going on already. Uh, that has not aged well, although I'm quite impressed with the actual graphics of the game. It feels like it could have been released five years ago instead of like 13 years ago. The graphics really do hold up. All right. So I guess we're not gonna really be too stealthy about this, are we? Let's just go for it, huh? Hold, Templars. You are not the only ones with business here. Ah. Well, this explains my missing man. And what is it you want? Blood. You know not the things in which you meddle, Assassin. I spare you only that you may return to your master and deliver a message. The Holy Land is lost to him and his. He should flee now while he has the chance. Stay, and all of you will die. Men! Two arms! Kill the assassins! Uh-oh. I guess we gotta make our escape. Altair, you fool. What have you done? Your arrogance has probably cost people's lives. Altair, you've returned. Raouf, it is good to see you unharmed. I trust your mission was a success. Is the master in his tower? Yes, yes, uh, buried in his books as always. No doubt he expects you. My thanks, brother. Safety and peace, Altair. On you as well. All right, so here we are in the village of Masaif in medieval Syria during the time of, I want to say it's the First Crusades or the Second second Crusades, I can't remember now. But uh, we've got to make our way up to go see our master and report on the news. Unfortunately, the news is that we failed in our quest. So I'm not sure if the boss is going to be too happy with us. But I really do love these environments, and they really do hold up to modern-day graphics. So, I did my research, and I found that Masaif is actually a real place in Syria. Uh, the modern-day Masaif has about... 50,000, 40,000 people in it. But it seems like it's probably seen better days. Now, and of course, the real assassins were Muslims, but these assassins are a little bit more. Well, this ah, kind of. He returns at last. Abbas. 
Where are the others? Did you ride ahead hoping to be the first one back? I know you are loath to share the glory. Silence is just another form of ascent. Have you nothing better to do? I bring word from the Master. He waits for you in the library. Best hurry. No doubt you're eager to put your tongue to his boot. Another word and I'll put my blade to your throat. There'll be plenty of time for that later, brother. So, what I was saying is... This game came out during the time of, like, the Da Vinci Code. When it was kind of popular to, like, try to... I don't know. Put a modern atheist view on everything. And so, yeah, historically this would have been a Muslim... Assassin's Guild. But in this game, they're a little bit more, like, non-religious and, like, not Christian or... The master waits within. Or Muslim, which is kind of a bit goofy, but hey, it's a game. And I enjoy this game more for its environments than its actual historical accuracy. Which, of course, uh, Assassin's Creed has never claimed this to be historically accurate whatsoever. It's very loosely based on real events. Altair, Master, come forward. Tell me of your mission. I trust you have recovered the Templar's treasure. There was some trouble, Master. Robert de Sable was not alone. When does our work ever go as expected? It's our ability to adapt that makes us who we are. This time it was not enough. What do you mean? I have failed you. The treasure? Lost to us. And Robert? Escaped. I send you, my best man, to complete a mission more important than any that has come before. And you return to me with nothing but apologies and excuses. I did. Do not speak! Not another word! This is not what I expected. We'll need to mount another force. I swear to you I'll find him. I'll go in. No! You do nothing. You've done enough. Where are Malik and Kadar? Dead. No! Not dead. Malik? I still live at least. And your brother? Gone. Because of you! Robert threw me from the room. There was no way back. Nothing I could do. Because you would not heed my warning! All of this could have been avoided! And my brother... My brother would still be alive! Your arrogance nearly cost us victory today. Nearly? I've watched your favorite fail to find. Here. Take it. Though it seems I've returned with more than just their treasure. Master, we are under attack. Robert de Sable lays siege to Masiaf's village. So he seeks a battle. Very well. I'll not deny him. Go. Inform the others. The fortress must be prepared. As for you, Altair, our discussion will have to wait. You must make for the village. Destroy these invaders. Drive them from our home. It will be done. Fast forward in memory to a more recent one. Alright, so we are in trouble. Altair, like we're being attacked. Come, we need your help. What's happened? Templars. They attacked the village. Most of our people were able to get away. Most. But not all. What do you need me to do? Distract the Templars. Keep them occupied while I rescue those still trapped inside. As you wish. Looks like we attracted attention. Okay, we've got our fists, we got our throwing knives, we got our sword. We're gonna wanna go with our sword, I believe. Ooh. All 
Uh, let's just jump. That was awkward. All right, let's head into the town, shall we? soldiers to deal with. Looks like the entire town is in panic. Muelim's not done with us yet. Where are we going? Up there. We have a surprise plan for our guests. Just do as I do. It should become clear soon enough. He's going to hurt himself. All right, so... I wonder what's up here. Someone tell what me does the master have in store? Ah. Stand on that platform, Altair. All right. I think this is where we do our famous first eagle jump. Heretic! Return what you have stolen from me! You've no claim to it, Robert. Take yourself from here before I'm forced to thin your ranks further. You play a dangerous game! I assure you, this is no game. So be it! Bring forth the hostage! Your village lays in ruins, and your stores are hardly endless! How long before your fortress crumbles from within? How disciplined will your men remain when the wells run dry and their food is gone? My men do not fear death, Robert. They welcome it, and the rewards it brings. Good! And they shall have it all around! Follow me, and do so without hesitation. Show this fool knight what it is to have no fear! Go to God! Was a smooth landing. I'll stay behind and tend to him. You'll have to go ahead without us. The ropes there will bring you to a trap we've set. Go and release it. Rain death upon our enemies. All right. So we gotta. Tiptoe our way across this dangerous looking ravine here. I 
I wonder what trap we've concocted here. Is our village does not look like it's gonna survive at this point. So this better be a good trap. Looks like we got some climbing to do. This is of course what any Assassin's Creed game is like here. Climbing the windows. Every little small beam, ledge, we should be able to climb because we've been trained since, since a very, very young age. to drive Robert from here. His force is broken. It shall be a long while before he troubles us again. Tell me, do you know why it is you are successful? You listened. Were it that you'd listened in Solomon's temple, Altair? All of this would have been avoided. I did as I was asked. No, you did as you pleased. Malik has told me of the arrogance you displayed, your disregard for our ways. What are you doing? There are rules. We are nothing if we do not abide by the Assassin's Creed. Three simple tenets, which you seem to forget. I will remind you. First and foremost, stay your blade. From the flesh of an innocent, I know. And stay your tongue, unless I give you leave to use it. If you are so familiar with this tenant, then why did you kill the old man inside the temple? He was innocent. He did not need to die. Your insolence knows no bounds. Make humble your heart, child, or I swear I'll tear it from you with my own hands. The second tenet is that which gives us strength. Hide in plain sight. Let the people mask you such that you become one with the crowd. Do you remember? Because as I hear it, you chose to expose yourself, drawing attention before you'd struck. The third and final tenet, the worst of all your betrayals. Never compromise the Brotherhood. Its meaning should be obvious. Your actions must never bring harm upon us, direct or indirect. Yet your selfish act beneath Jerusalem placed us all in danger. Worse still, you brought the enemy to our home. Every man we've lost today was lost because of you. I am sorry. Truly I am. But I cannot abide a traitor. I am not a traitor. Your actions indicate otherwise. And so you leave me no choice. Peace be upon you, Altair. <laughs> He's experiencing a far better adoption rate than the other subjects. I'm still pulling him out. He's been in there way too long. No, not yet. We're still so far from where we need to be. We shouldn't risk it. What's another hour or two? Why don't we discuss this in the conference room? Give Desmond a minute to stretch his legs. I, I really don't see the need. Warren, please. Fine. Alright, so I think this is going to be probably 
kind of probably finish up with this video. I know I've been doing a lot of talking, but I've been surprised how much dialogue this game has had. I really haven't had a lot of time to talk. Uh, but so far I've been enjoying myself. I guess we gotta go eavesdrop on what they're saying, so let's walk in here. Let's see. Man, I can't even change my clothes. Kind of forgot what we're supposed to be doing. But... Oh. What was that? There we go. Please appreciate your questioning my authority in front of the prisoner. There's a word for that. I believe it's called insubordination. And I don't appreciate you trying to kill him. There's a word for that, too. I believe it's called stupid. Lucy, this isn't my decision. I don't set the deadlines, but I'm smart enough not to challenge them. Do you want to wind up like Layla? I know the accident has everyone on edge. Which is why there's no time to coddle him. If you push him too hard, he'll shut down. And then we'll have nothing. We have nothing now. But we will. You just need to have a little faith. Fine. But I want you thinking of ways to improve his staying power. We can't afford to stop every time the man breaks a sweat. It's bad enough we have to trace through all of these useless memories. I'll do what I can. All right. What are we doing now? Guess they're coming back out. Hey guys, how do you do? We're done for today, Mr. Miles. I suggest you return to your room and get some rest. All right. Guess we will do that. Damn it! They locked the door. I think we're going to call this video, guys. I will see you guys next time as we continue our Let's Play of the original Assassin's Creed. <sighs> Gotta say, that's a little creepy, Doc. Waking up to you standing over me. You've been watching me sleep? We're always watching you. Now get up. We've got a lot of work to do. Ooh, wonder who I get to kill today. Don't be so cavalier. Your ancestors almost had the right idea, Mr. Miles. If the deaths of a few people, evil people, no less, could save the lives of thousands more, well, it seems a small sacrifice. What do you mean, almost? They didn't go far enough. To use a rather tired analogy, corruption is no different than cancer. Cut out the tumors, but fail to treat the source and, well, you're buying time at best. There's no true change to be had without comprehensive, systemic intervention. Chemo for the masses. Education. Re-education, to be more precise. But it's not easy, and it doesn't always take. Let me guess. You've got a better solution. What is it, then? <laughs> now that would be telling.